after Poland and the European Union accused President Alexander Lukashenko of encouraging the migrants to travel to Belarus and cross the border illegally as revenge for the imposition of sanctions against Minsk over human rights abuses. Also, the denial of Belarus of all charges blaming the European Union for the humanitarian crisis on the border. Migrants face a much tougher challenge now to enter the European Union. While Belarusian authorities have taken many migrants back to Minsk with the aim of letting them return to their homelands, Poland has arranged over 20,000 border guards, soldiers and police in sealed-off border zone. Police data shows around 314 smugglers, most of them from Germany, Sweden, Ukraine and Georgia, have been detained in Poland since August. The smugglers gave fake hopes for migrants to cross borders after many of them got caught by guards. According to an asylum seeker, he and his five relatives lost 18,000 euros to smugglers who promised to take them to a safe apartment with a car driving ahead of them to make sure there were no police checks. That also proved a lie and they were caught. More people are becoming aware that they have been let into a trap and that what they've been promised is all a lie. As crossings have become more difficult, migrants told news agencies the people smugglers have hiked their prices to as much as $7,000. Some activists claim that the migrants are unlikely to give up trying to get cross, despite the falling temperatures and increased risks of being caught.